A movement to consolidate several Catholic churches in central Illinois leaves the future of a nearly century-old Bloomington parish unclear. Good Monday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. Thanks for joining us. Madison Porter has what we know about the church in tonight's top story. Back in October, the Peoria Diocese proposed merging Bloomington's Holy Trinity Catholic Church off Main Street with two other West Bloomington congregations, leaving the building abandoned. Based on the feedback to the diocese, a local historian believes the church will be saved and that the diocese has backed off on plans to consolidate. The bishop's job uh, was to issue his report, which he did. The parish's job was to defend their parish, which they did. They did an admirable job. And then the bishop's second job was to listen, and that he did. Greg Coos wrote the nomination to put the Holy Trinity Church on the National Register of Historic Places back in 1983 as one of five religious buildings in the United States with a rare Art Deco architecture design. It had to do with the idea of using rectilinear and using uh, diagonal lines in order to create a new sense of design. Its cobalt blue stained glass windows and New York styled steeple, Ku says, are proof of the modernist design movement from the 1920s. He adds it's important to preserve structures like this that goes beyond architecture and goes into issues of climate change. There is a carbon energy, coal, oil, that was utilized to create these structures. And now it embodies that energy. And then to destroy the building, throw, destroys existing, you know, the energy, and then requires a replacement of that with the expenditure of new energy, again, carbon-based. We reached out to the Peoria Diocese multiple times on Monday, but got no answer on whether the combination proposal still stands. In Bloomington, I'm Madison Porter, 25 News.